Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to design steel structures in RAM Elements Connect Edition. In this video we are going to be focusing on performing the optimization which will include the process of specifying your optimization criteria, changing your sections, and then completing your workflow to a finished design in RAM Elements. We will now turn our attention to our sample model in RAM Elements. As you can see on your screen, the analysis has already been performed and so has the design, which are two necessary steps to perform before invoking an optimization. Now before we optimize this structure, we're first going to view some information and get familiar with how RIM elements will perform this task. In the ribbon, I'm going to select the View tab and then I'm going to color code the model based on the description that was assigned to each member. To do that, I can go to the Properties pull-down menu, select the Description area, and I'm going to go to a Wire Frame view. Now you can see all of the members in the model have been color-coded based on the description that was assigned to them. As a reminder, the descriptions are assigned through the Data panel, through the Members tab, and the Nodes in Description icon. For each group of members, based on their description, RAM Elements performs code checks for each selected load combination against the section group that the original section is from. Please note that RAM Elements will not optimize members within a description if there are different sizes assigned within that description. So basically, all members with the same description will be optimized together. So say for example, let's take our wind girts. Now let's go ahead and select one and then I'm going to go to the home tab and say select by description. These all have the same description and when the model is optimized it is going to go ahead and optimize the same section to all of the members that are assigned this same description. What's also important is if I went to the next icon over which is the sections area that every single member within this description has to have the same section size assigned to it. Now when RAM Elements goes ahead and performs an optimization, it is going to go to this table within the sections database and search for another section within that table that might satisfy the code check results depending upon the criteria you set. So say for example I have created some columns that are a wide flange section from the United States database. When the optimization is performed, it will go ahead and try to optimize it to another wide flange section. It won't try to switch it to an HSS tube or a channel, for example. So for this particular model, I have all my groups assigned. Everything within the same group has the same section property. What's also important to note for this model is I do have a few tapered sections. My beams, my main beams here, and my main columns are all tapered sections. To assign this section property, I use the ITM sections database, which basically defines a flange width, a flange thickness, and a web thickness. To define the parameters for the taper, we use the D0 and the DL parameters. So what's important to note is that when an optimization is performed, it'll go through the sections database, but it won't optimize on the D0 and the DL parameters. Those will stay as they are. Now at this point, I think we're ready to go ahead and start the optimization. We are going to perform our optimization on the entire model. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to just say select all. And you can see my entire model selected. Then to start the optimization process, I'm going to go to the Process tab in the ribbon and click on the Optimize Model icon. Now before I perform the optimization, I need to set up some parameters both for strength and deflection requirements. Before I do that, I have this option up here to optimize the entire model or just check it. So if I selected the Optimize Model, basically it would take every group 
in the model and try to perform an optimization on it, which means it could try to optimize members that passed and members that failed. If I selected the check option, that will only take the members that failed the initial code check and try to optimize those. So basically it'll bring you to a point where you're just going to get members that are larger than what you originally selected instead of smaller. You can also choose whether or not you would like to include deflections in your optimization process. So let's start with our strength information. We're going to go ahead and tell the program to optimize every single member in the model. So I'm going to keep all of these selected. And then we're going to have to tell it which load combinations to use. I'm going to come over here and say select all design load combinations. And again, these are being used just to check the strength of the members. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a strength or a stress ratio limit. And I'm going to enter my limit as 0.95. Now setting the stress ratio limit parameter to something less than 1.0 for optimization will direct RAM elements to select members with some additional capacity with respect to the steel design. This builds in a margin of additional strength in the structure that allows it to tolerate the inevitable redistribution of loads that occurs when members' stiffnesses change. The resulting design will be less sensitive to subtle shifts in load and an acceptable design may be fine, found with fewer design iterations. So we'll go ahead and specify that as 0.95. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the deflection tab and we're going to decide which members we want to check for deflection. For my particular model I am only going to be checking my roof beams for deflection. And I'm only going to be checking them against my service load combinations. Lastly, I'm taking a look at my roof beams and I'm going to be checking them for an L over 360. So I can go ahead and specify that information here. Now, if we are satisfied with everything, we can go ahead and start the optimization. But there are ways that you can have further control over your optimization, and we can do this through an optimization collection or a section collection. Let's go ahead and select the next tab to see how to do that. Basically, a section collection is a user-defined group of members that will be considered in an optimization. So if you don't assign a section collection to a particular group of members, basically anything within that database or that table within that database will be used as a candidate for optimization. But if you want to limit it based on, say, you only want to consider W10s for your steel columns, you can limit that through a section collection so it won't be searching through the entire database. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a section collection for our tapered members. And the reason I'm going to do this for this particular model is by limiting the number of sections it will use for optimization will possibly speed up my optimization time. So let's go ahead and create a new collection. So I'm going to click on this icon here to create a new collection. It's going to automatically bring me to the sections database. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a new collection. So I'm going to come over here and say create a new collection. And I'm going to call mine tapered columns and beams. Once you've identified the collection that you want to customize, then we're going to go ahead and select the different items that we want added. So we can grab anything within uh, the United States database or any other database, including a custom database that we want. So I'm going to come to the ITM section group or section table which is where my initial sections are from. Then I'm going to identify all of the sections I want to grab. I'm going to grab um, some of these 8 inch ones. So I'm going to go with all of the 8 inch by 1 half. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to move them over to my section set. And then I'm also going to grab some of the 10 inch ones. So whichever sections you want to grab, you can just move over to this list. 
Now, when RAM Elements performs the optimization, what it's going to do is it's basically going to start at the top of this list and work its way down. And then it will stop once it finds a section that works uh, for the code check that it's performing on that group. Now, the order of these sections within the set would make a difference because, of course, it's going to start at the top and work its way down. So you can control the order by clicking the up and down arrows. For other types of sections, such as wide flange, you can also sort them based on weight or based on area or moment of inertia to, say, order your sections from the least weight on up to heavier sections. If you're happy with your section collection, we'll go ahead and click the close button and you can see now it's available over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this section collection to my beams and columns. So let's highlight my beam and say I want to move this collection over. So I'm going to say assign that section to the selected description. I'm going to do the same thing for my columns. Now at this point, if I don't want to create any more section collections, I'm ready to start my optimization. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and now the optimization is beginning. Now after the optimization is complete, the program will go ahead and ask you if you want to officially change the sizes. Because as of right now, everything in our model has stayed the same. This is just letting us know what sections to use. Now if I select these options and then click OK, and we can see right very clearly through this window which ones were controlled by strength, which ones were controlled by deflection, some of the sections didn't need to be modified while some of them did. You can see everything stayed within its original group. So I want to go ahead and change the sections that were failing. So I want to change my roof beam, my braces, and my beams. So we'll go ahead and click OK. So the program went ahead and officially made those changes. And I can see those changes have now taken place in the data area. What we're going to also notice is if I go to my process tab, my design all and my optimize model icons are now grayed out. Now, if any sections are replaced as a result of the optimization, the analysis results will be lost. Since RAM Elements performs a finite element analysis, the model does have to be reanalyzed anytime the stiffness or the weight of the model is modified. So let's go ahead and complete our design. So we're going to start by re-performing an analysis using the same exact parameters we had previously used. After the analysis is performed, we're going to also go ahead and re-perform the design. Now that the design is complete, we have one more step in our workflow. We should just re-verify that the entire model is now passing all code check requirements. So let's go to the View tab in the ribbon, and we're going to find our status icon. We're double checking that this says for the controlling combination, and we can see that the entire model now passes all code check requirements. We have no members that produced warnings and no members that failed. At this point, our workflow is done and we are done designing 
this structure. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.